Hi, so we're going to be playing with Scratch today. First thing we need to do is go up to this thing and enter the URL scratch.mit.edu. Next, we need to create something for us to play with. So we're going to make this cat do a few little things. Scratch is quite a nice little gentle introduction to these and we'll be using it to look at a couple of our well three of our conditional our constructs the conditional statement the sequence and the loop and we'll start with the conditional we will do with the sequence first so I want to do a sequence where I want it to the cat to move forward for 10 steps then I want it to pause for a second then turn right 90 degrees <clears throat> so to do that I just say move 10 steps I then need to go to control and that says wait one second go back to motion And I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. I just changed that to 90. Oops. And then I'm going to make it pause for a second. With Scratch, you need to make it do this when a button's pressed or the icon is clicked, the sprite, the cat in this case, is uh, clicked on. So to do that, I'm just going to say when this sprite clicked, do it. That's the move and that's the rotation. Okay. So Apart from when this sprite clicks, that's kind of a conditional statement. Let's change that. And, oops, move this. This time, I'm going to do it when the key is pressed. So we can do this, just change that. I'm now pressing the space key. So we've kind of got a conditional statement happening here. If the key is pressed or when the key is pressed, do these things. Otherwise, don't do it. Okay. So now. I want to make it do a square. I want him to move in a square, him or she. So, what we can do is we can put it in a loop. So, I'm going to go to control again. This time, I'm going to do repeat. I want it to repeat four times. I want it to repeat these actions four times. So I'm now going to press the space bar. And it's made the cat move in a, a square shape. So we can play with these. We can make it. Um, let's put another one in there that says. Oh, let's, let's do that. We'll put that one back. But let's put another one of these events in. That instead of when the key, when it's space, 
I'm going to say when the up arrow is pressed. It's going to go motion. Oops. It's going to move twenty steps in whichever direction it's pointing at that time. Okay. So, pressing the up arrow, I get the bigger step, press the space, it's doing the square. That's how simple it is to use Scratch. And we've looked at our conditional statements, we've looked at a loop, we've looked at a sequence. So we've got a sequence in here, we've got a loop. Of that sequence and we've got a conditional statement that says if that key is pressed or when that key is pressed do that.